Hey guys, it's Proud Cat Lover, and I have some exciting news about the baby ladybugs. They are all simultaneously starting to pupate into their, I don't know if you would want to call it a chrysalis or whatever you want to call it for beetle. I need to look and see. Um, so they're now going to be starting to transform into their beetle stage. This one here, this one has attached itself to the side of the container, as well as this one here. So they're going to be starting soon. That one I just showed you that was the yellow one, which is this one, just started to pupate. And these two are going to be beetles soon, so very exciting. Thanks for watching my update, and have a good day. Hey guys, it's Proud Cat Lover, and exciting news, the first pink spotted ladybug from the babies has hatched, and look at it, it's so cute. They're tiny little ladybugs, they're smaller than the average, uh big red ones that I think are like the five spotted ladybugs or something. But yeah, I was hoping that they'd be pink spotted ladybugs because that's what it looked like and that's what they turned out to be. This is the first one to hatch. I'm not going to pick it up because I don't know how long ago it came out of its, uh, uh, you know, chrysalis or whatever. I'm going to, I still haven't looked that up. I'm going to look it up after this video. I promise. And I'll put it in the description of what it's called. <laughs> but, uh, so the first one come out, I don't know when it hatched out, so I'm not going to hold it because I know that their shells will still be soft and stuff. Because I do have darkling beetles, and I know that that's the way they are, so it'll be interesting, but yeah. So, hopefully, the other ones will start hatching soon. So, yeah. Anyway guys, thanks for watching my little video, and have a good day. There it goes into the world. Hey guys, so we're just going to make this video one long big video. So thanks for sticking around to the last part. If my phone will focus. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'll just keep it in a distance and just zoom it in. That's what I'll do. So, okay, finally. So the other four ladybugs hatched out of their pupa, and I found out it's called a pupa. I am going to put it in the description anyway, but uh, that's what it's called. Um, instead of being a chrysalis, it's actually called a pupa. So that was interesting, which I looked up on Google. So um, we'll see if we can get a little bit closer. There we go. Maybe. Forget it. Forget I even said it. That's about as close as we're going to get. So all of them have hatched, and I'm going to go release them. I'm not going to show it because I already had a release video that was included in this huge, long stretch of videos. So just wanted to show you guys that very happy it was a success raising ladybugs. I was going to keep them, but I can't find any more aphids to feed them. So that's not going to work out. That's why I released that first one that you guys saw before in the first more closer to the first part of the video so yeah anyway very happy that they all hatched out and that they are going to be able to go into the world and have little pink ladybug babies and uh yeah be successful in life as little ladybugs killing the aphids and stuff so anyway guys thanks for watching this video sorry it was kind of long <laughs> but you know at the end it was happy because we get to release these ladybugs. They get to go out into the world and have many more ladybug babies. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching my video and have a good day.